Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? If you guys are doing well, a little Saturday night building drive with FG. If you guys are doing well, oh, it's been a long day, man. We actually uh, helped make some apple butter today. What'd y'all do? It's a good old southern tradition there. Some apple, apple butter. Uh, it's good to see everybody. I got chat rolling everywhere tonight, so I can keep up with build drive stuff. So um, it is good to see everybody, man. With those some shout outs here. All the guys in green, the guys in blue. It's good to see you guys, man. Ozzy Dave, Z Bullet, Jody DeBoom, Husky, thank you guys. What's up? What's up? Classic XL, what's up, man? How you guys doing? Yeah, man, Apple Butter good. There's our one of our winners from last night, Mr. Psycho. Yeah, just got out of bed, fixing to hop in the old 379, take her for a spin. Chevy Boy, Patrick Dick Knight, Ryan, good to see you guys. Tiny Killer, Rebel Mac Daddy, good to see you, Zell. Sanel Premium, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, bud. Uh, Michael Brewer, Diesel Tech, not Hugo, not to be confused with Hugo. Uh, Jared, what's up? The Master Dork, Brian L, good to see you, man. Scott Welch, hello. JRH Customs for his will pack, but not answering. I don't even know who JRH Customs is. Um, Scott, I'm not even familiar with it. Unless his is like the really big, like huge bullet hole wheels. I never bought them, so I'm not sure who did those. Um, but uh, yeah, Sledge, what's up, man? CGC, what is up, man? BCG, how are you, man? Jay's Gaming as well. Air Boston, hello, man. What's up, F to the Jizzle? I'm here, man. I'm doing my, doing my thing. Uh, what are the color names? I don't know what they mean inside of the chat. So green are just the uh, supporting guys that pay a membership. Blue are the moderators. I have no idea, like, in the actual stream why it spaces out different colors. And it seems to be that that color changes, like, per random stream. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> just enjoy being a different color on there. I have no idea what that means. I don't think they've got it figured out. And pretty much most of those internal chats like that inside the screens for these, most of the time they work for Twitch way better than they do YouTube. So I have I have no idea for you, man. Man, I've enjoyed the little Southern Rock tunes, man. It's actually been fairly nice. I've, I've actually uh, thoroughly enjoyed these. Good old Southern Rock there, man. Basically, just the fast uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Not really. What's up, Finn? Good to see Matt as well. Amaro Strong, what's up? Daniel Costa, hello all the way from Sydney. What's up? Wow. Well, from, welcome to our Aussies with the Z and some of our Kiwis from down in New Zealand land. Well, I guess if it's New Zealand, you don't have to say land because it's already in the title, right? New Zealand. Not Z-Land land. Okay. Where do we get all my mods? Everywhere now, Hugo. I get them a lot of different places, man. Um, yes, Knight, it is three. Yeah, the, the rolling 3 and 9. Everyone's favorite. Oh, Cobra Game. It's all right, man. Don't ever wish you could do more, man. I appreciate uh, everything you guys do as it is, man. Don't, don't. It's okay, man. Don't ever wish you could do more. I'm thankful for what you do, man. That's awesome. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for the 10. Donation there from Mr. Cobra Gaming Creations, getting things started off with a 10. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and let's pause some music here. And, uh, oh, yeah. So I'll tell you who it was. Their own Soundstripe. They sell they sell their music off there. Um, let's see. Who was that? Um, let's see. Stream music. Sons of Ann Harkey. Sons of Ann Harkey. Like A-N-N-E. H A R K Y. Not to be confused with Anarchy. Sons of Ann, the name, Harky with a an H. And uh, that was the uh, Long Black Highway. I don't know if anybody understand. Everybody hear that? I hope I hope y'all heard that. Real little what's up? Scott Welch. I don't know why it was an epic fail. I'm not sure why the epic failed over. Why the epic fail over? Thanks for the 20. What an epic fell over. I mean, were you the guy asking about the wheels? <laughs> I have no idea who you're talking about. Oh, yeah, nice. Colt the Country Trucker, thank you there for the three, man. 
Connor Gurney all the way. Oh, yeah, is also an Aussie. Chris Levitt, what's up, man? Rustic Thunder, what's up, man? Got your class A, all right? Sweet, man. Rizzo, all the way from Sweden. Hello, Blaze for Forestier. Forestier. Watching from Louisiana. What's up, man? Skyline as well. Trick, hello, Blaze. Uh, Maria's all the way from Seattle. Good to see you guys. Renato, uh, who we got else in her 6 uh, 615. What's up? Man's Game, Jeremy Mark. White Bear, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Jack Drifter as well. Quan Felix. Uh, all right, man. Let's go ahead and let's get this sucker going. Uh, Glenn, what's up? Oh, God, let's give away something. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay, well, we can't give away the rolling. Um, and I wasn't planning on actually giving that in a flash sale because this truck is so expensive. Um, uh, let me think about it. Let's see what we can do. Um, trying to think what we can do. Hmm. Because the truck and trailer tonight go with the truck. Um, okay. All right. Let me think. Let me think on that as we build. Let me think on that as we build, Glenn. Jamaican Chipton, we can do that. Uh, this is the Roland Peak. Yes. Uh, no trig. We're not giving away the Roland tonight. Um, I would like to get that in a an actual formidable giveaway instead of a flash, you know, giveaway on a stream. Um, since it is a $105 truck, I just want to give it its due and let everyone have a clean opportunity to enter that. Um, so typically I do gleam for those like a week of kind of deal where we do like a Monday through Saturday or a Monday through Friday and then we'll, we'll pick up on Saturday night. Typically what we do. Um, we could look at maps. Unfortunately, I don't have any payword maps. The only one I have is Alaska and we gave uh, one of those last night. So, um, so yeah, it's really uh, never on sale. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much always 100, 115 or 105. So, what's up, Sartan? You could see, man. This is not Tom's 379. No. Um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and roll this intro, and then let's go ahead and let's uh, let, let's get to building this thing. We're going to be building the DSD Transport LLC truck out of Wisconsin. It's a smaller transport group, uh, and they do a lot of everything from heavy hauls, and they got a show truck, and we're going to be able to hit most of the marks with the show truck. I, I think the interior, no one's got an interior close to it. Um, so we can we can at least kind of fudge some things, get close to it. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's run the intro. I'll see you on the back side. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do this. So, um, all right. So let me uh, let me let me go ahead and I'll, I'll set a few of these things, and then I probably will not answer this question anymore tonight. Um, there's a, cause I don't want to get salty. Um, so the Roland 389 is a very extensive mod. It is still based, um, off the hood cab of the SCS. Uh, but it has, uh, it's starting to get its own cabs now. It's got its own interiors. And then there's big updates to the interiors now to revamp all of them, uh, including like the newer 389 style with just small, simple oval dash. So those are good, getting, fixing to get the big up, biggest updates. Um, we've got a lot of chassis on this thing, including all the heavy haul stuff and the show truck style stuff. Um, but it's becoming a very, very large truck. Um, a lot of custom things, custom animations, custom shader work. A lot of things that have been done inside this truck. Some will agree with it, some won't, and that's totally fine. Don't have to agree with the price on it. I don't really care. Uh, this is one of those things where I don't, I don't complain about the $250 Jordans you just bought to put on your feet and walk on the asphalt. But that's what you chose to spend your money on. So it's fine. You could have bought two of these trucks, one, one for you and one for your buddy. So next time you look down at your Jordans or whatever you bought, you know, just think, hey, I could have two Rollins for that. Aside from that, essentially, it is a good truck if it's the truck that you want. If it's a 389 you want or a 79, uh, you know, we're actually going to get 379 dashes are coming to this thing. It's already got some styling parts that are 379-ish. Um, although Dom's is probably the more 379 and blue lines. They're more geared towards that 379 market. Um, and then these are more on the back side of this, um, more on the back side of the three late 79 into the 389 age. So anyway, uh, this is, this is kind of what we're going to be working with today. Um, and so for anybody asking, don't, you know, I know we give away a ton of stuff and the guys give away a ton of stuff on this channel. Um, I've got some plans for some giveaways with this truck, but I'm not going to necessarily do it just in a flash one night. Um, so if you're just here for the giveaway, stay for the build and drive, enjoy the company, uh, but quit begging for the Roland 389 because that's a, that's a lot of money for someone to just pop in and 
you know, fess up for everybody. It's a lot. So, <laughs> what's wrong with Jordans? <laughs> it does nothing. Uh, it's just something that typically is a really overpriced item, and it's still shoes that get walked on, and they still get dirty. So, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Ace, what's up, bro? I, hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. I know some of these Jordans do 200 bucks. Too. They're two bills plus. And they're shoes. People are like, man, I ain't got freaking hundred dollars for rolling man it's too expensive man hey dude check out my jordans man brought three bills on them ah sweet man i wish i could have that rolling just saying just saying it's real ftg facts saturday night with ftg so all right here we go let's look at it so here is our dream truck so this is the um this is the dsd transport llc group now if you want to hit up google real quick Open up another tab on your browser, and then you can watch along with this if you want to if you switch back and forth. We are going to pretty much, on the outside of this, be able to 150% uh, be able to complete this on the outside. The inside, totally complete custom. It's not even a 379. It's not even a – I don't know. How many of you remember, like, the old, like, the trucking magazines where they did, like, the um, – they did like the the complete custom painted inside interiors with the interior seats were all custom colored and had all kind of different uh, you know stuff in those. Um, all of those types of trucks, like the old school trucking trucks, they all were kind of like this, where they had complete custom interiors. So we're not going to be able to do the interior nearly like that because the creators of this truck can't. You know, if they do his, then then, then it's like, well, what are you doing with this guy? You should have done this, and and it just opens up a whole can of worms. So we're just going to create on the inside and get as creative as we can, make it look pretty flashy, make it look pretty cool, and then we'll just go from there. So. Um, and if I need to, let me see if I can squeeze this up just a little bit. I'm going to see if I can still keep that in the thing, but you guys still are going to be able to see. There we go. That way you guys can still see. So we are going to be doing the trailer as well. So I've got the trailer on uh, also, and that's from uh, – this is the trailer that comes with the truck. So you do get uh, a trailer and a truck. So it's not like you get you know everything. <laughs> Um, and let's see. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's go ahead. So he's got a flat top in here. Um, so we got the. All right. So we got that on there. So let's go ahead and we'll just start up front. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and put the bag chassis on this thing. Uh, 300 gallon with the front airbag. So that'll drop her on down, extend her on out. And then I'm gonna keep up, man. I've been too. I've I have so been. We can actually do the C18. C18 was the one that actually comes with this truck. So, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support that tonight. If you guys have never heard it, it's kind of like Z's N14, except it's got a really, really awesome uh, Jake brake behind it. And then uh, we're going to put us a cruising. Let's put us a cruising rear end on this thing. Let's do uh, Let's do an 18. Y'all don't forget. Don't let me forget. Pitbull Gaming, I'm great, man. How are you? Don't let me forget. We need to change my shifter over to 18 speed. Don't let me know that. Uh. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'll leave you that. Uh, what? Oh, you mean the what is low in the? Yeah, I know, dude. They, they've got some bag suspension where he's he's got to be parked just sitting on the frame, man. He's got to be. I mean, you get pretty doggone close to the game, man. I'm not the game. You can actually get probably as low as that. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. We'll wait on interior. We'll wait on interior. Let's go back out to our accessories. Sterling, y'all are, yeah, y'all are funny, man. Y'all are funny. All right, let me lock down my track hour. All right, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's start up here. Let's um, look at bumpers. Um, it looks like actually, let me let me pull my bigger version up here. So we've got a mitered off. Uh, it looks like we've got a mitered off front end there. Now I don't know if we can do the 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 little bullet uh, lights on the side. I'm not sure if we can do that on those particular bumpers. I don't think we can. Not on not on this one. Uh, let's roll down here to our 20s. We got any 22s? What do we got in the 22 category? All right, we got tapered. We got painted. Okay, we got the the buzzard. Those aren't the same ones. That's a. Let's look at the Texas mitered. That's probably what we're gonna have to roll. Yeah, these aren't watermelons though. These are um, these are the big large cylinder. Um, the big, large cylinder uh, turn signal lights park. I guess they're turn signal lights, uh, but they're like the big, huge oval ones. But they're not attached inside of here. They're like 
they've got a little arm that comes off of them and they're attached in the bumper like a turn signal. Um, they're kind of like, like these right here. Except theirs are the other way. So like you see where these are? So theirs would be 90 degrees back. So they're actually like in front of, they actually fit the line. So we'll put some watermelons there. It'll be fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it. That That's, that's relatively small. Those are small fries. Um, let's see. And they've got, I don't think, they got a tag in the middle. We can put a tag in the middle. I think these just change where these tags and stuff are. Yeah, lolly, yeah, lollipops, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's put tag back in the, whoops. Let's put the tag back in the center. There we go. So we're just going to add. Look at that. Even got a Wisconsin. Now, I think, I think the rolling company is out of Wisconsin, too. And this company is as well, so this actually works out like completely double double good for us. So it got nothing on this bumper. It is clean as a whistle. So let's just find us something over here to put. Uh, we can put round marker, but I might just go ahead and do. Let's see if any of these. I don't think y'all. Uh, yeah, these are all going to flow in, which is going to look extremely weird. I wish the little watermelon lights. We can. We can, we'll just have to do those. That's fine. We'll do a left blinker there. We'll do a right blinker on this one. Show. Uh, yes, I do have KI's pack. I don't think I have it on this profile, though. Uh, it's just it's just too many lights. And this build, there is, like, literally no lights on this thing. So I was like, yay, I get to keep it pretty simple because y'all know I hate putting on these lights, man. It gets on my nerves so bad. All right, so they do have the custom fender bracket, I think. Uh, where's it at? I'm short fender bracket. It's actually a full, but it's without blinker. So we don't have a blinker on these. All right, we're going to put the chrome one on there. That's, it's a little different, but that's close enough. Close enough for me. Oh, did I put a left blinker? No, it did, uh, did I put it on here too? What's well, okay. It's all right. What's up, bull holler? What's up, man? How are you, buddy? Where you been these days? Huh? 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 Where you been? Uh, grill wise, I can't tell. This is something tight. We're, we're going to throw a we're going to throw a tight chrome in there. Uh, three seventy nine style grill. Painted grill? No, it's not paint chrome. It is solid. And so we're going to throw how many bars is that? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bar reinforced. All right. I always here last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say hey last night. Or if I did. Oh, Redneckery. You know what? That is like the chat of the night. If I could give you an award for that, I would. Because that is the one thing that SES could do that would revolutionize everybody trying to customize a truck. I want to pick all of these light nodes. And I want to click, 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 click. And I want to apply all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And if you've watched my streams, you know I hate doing lights so when i saw this truck i was like sweet there's no lights on this truck i am ecstatic all right so let's put some square lights on here some 370 squares let's see so i don't have painted versions they have painted versions on their truck um so we're just gonna put the xenons on there yeah oh, which is unfortunate but i don't think actually any of these are painted i think they're all chrome i think and theirs doesn't have a turn signal, but ours does. Uh, do we do the turn signal gold or we do the turn signal? Wait a minute. Strike that, reverse it. Let's try it again. Do we do it without the turn signal or with? Let me know in chat. Y'all can Y'all can do it. And while you do that, I'm going to pick out some pretty emblems. They actually have no emblems on this truck, which I feel, I feel like naked. Wow, no, without, wow, an option to put lights on, and y'all said no. <laughs> y'all are crazy, man. Hey, you're going to put lights on at FTG? Yeah, let's put turn signals on. No, no, don't do that. All right, just because they don't, I'm not going to put any emblems on there, although that pains me. I feel like people need to see that this is a Peterbilt by its emblem. I don't even think they've got a... I don't even think they've got a. Uh, I don't even think they've got a uh, an emblem up here. We're gonna put one up there just because it feels naked put out. Uh, we're gonna put some pull handles just on in case we are gonna add stainless center trim. 
Sure, this is 379, so we will do that. No mirrors up front. Lights, yes. Aftermarket, that, yes. Painted fenders, painted fenders with trim. Now, they don't have any trim on theirs. Nope, we're definitely not doing those. Nope. Yes, but I am going to throw this. Wait a minute. Can I do it on this one? Is this the one that's got it? I can't, I can't ever remember. Hang on a minute. Let me think. Let me look. Where's he at? Where's he at? I feel like I feel like it's up. Is that it? Nope. Nope. Those are the tires. I have to change those out. Shoot. Where'd they go? All right. I thought I could do this center one. Chrome fender short bracket. Is that where it's at? No, that's not it. Well, yeah, theirs is. Theirs is actually a long fender bracket. Ours is the shorter one. That's why I just did one across the the whole front. Did the aftermarket one. It just goes all the way across. I think that's why I did that. Okay, all right, well. I could have swore that I could do this inside aluminum piece. Maybe I couldn't. Maybe I could. All right, let's continue on. I don't want to take all day doing this. Uh, <laughs> sledge. Yeah, we could do it, man. <laughs> What's up, Kales, man? <laughs> oh, no one says no ornament. Wow. Can we? We gotta put the hood latches on it, right? So we can pull the hood forward. Cause they do. It's all a one piece. They actually don't have anything here on the middle either. I actually don't have these. We're just gonna put hood rivets. Cause they actually don't have anything up there. Uh, Scott Welsh, so uh, Joe Collins on Facebook, um, and I can I can link it in the video or if one of the mods wants to. I've got you know, you guys can check on all these in the thing here. All right, let's move on back to uh, let's go ahead and just do the these right here. So it looks like they're a slick chrome all the way down. So these are custom ones. We've got some custom ones. We'll see which one fits the best. Um, I mean that's pretty daggum close. The stainless factory ones are not bad. You can just see the banding. They can't see any banding on theirs. But the 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 air intake up here is a little bit larger. Let's roll with the stainless. How about that? Let's throw in what color is this? this is blue? I'll let you guys I'll get y'all I'll let y'all decide what color we put in there. Chrome front and rear. They got five light. So nope, that's too short. All right, so we got long and we got short. They've got five. Yep. Yeah. So you got five. So I'm going to do amber up here. I can do amber. This is the stainless, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go match these up. Um, all right. So there's that. We'll add. Five on there. I don't know. Does anybody know? I've never seen the back of this truck, to be honest with you. I can put I can put five reds back here, but that typically gets a little bright. But we can put them up if we need to tone them down. No problem. Blue lights. Okay, we can do blue up there. It doesn't matter because um, I want to do blue on the on the um, I want to do blue on the neons, just because we can. Because that's pretty awesome. ETS two ATS Martin. What's up, man? Look at the bull bars. We're not gonna put one on there. You want me to just want me to look or like what? Factory door. All right, so here's the door trims. Now I think they have factory painted except for the hinges. Because these are actually suicide doors on this truck. If you never looked at it, it's actually suicide doors. We can't actually get that deep into it. Um I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and apply uh, Let's apply paint. Eh? Eh? Yeah. All right, we'll do wheels here in a minute. Wait, I feel like the wheels need to really set it off. All right, so we pretty much got chrome mirrors. These are pretty much the same mirrors they got on this thing, too. The chrome things for the fenders are with the bull bars. Really? <gasps> oh. 
I'm sorry, Bull. I see what you mean now. I was looking for those because I love those chrome gutters. My bad, man. I'm sorry. I was like, what are you talking about? I thought you wanted me to literally go look at the bull bars for you because you're bull hauler. <laughs> I'm not lying. I was like, come on, man. What kind of stream do you think this is, bro? All right. Painted windshield? Yes. Actually, probably is an old school or a factory because we just have the black rim. Can't tell if it's chrome or not. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there it was. That's what it is. That's what it is. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, what other truck can you do this kind of stuff with? All right. So we got, I think, black and then a chrome. Tr is chrome. Whoops. Will let me do it with factory? Yes. I would imagine that we're going to do painted. Y'all feeling me painted with chrome? Maybe that. All right, so these right here are going to get painted, though. Let's let's do those because we got to remain the hinges. Keep it on the street. I'll oh, keep it street. Let's go, Brandon. What's up, man? I hope that's not aimed at me. What's up, man? All right, let's do painted trim, chrome hinges. Yes, let's do that. Now, these obviously would be on the other side and have suicide hinges on these. And they've got a little bit less fender riv uh, rivets than we do. That's okay. That's all right. Let's go ahead and fix the windows up. Went up, 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 up. Custom ears, all chrome. Now, they don't have anything hanging off the lights. So you could if you wanted to. We could hang some, uh, could hang some stuff off the lights. Nope, there's this full out, ain't it? Full out. Uh, it became a meme. It's just a... Something all the young kids say nowadays. I guess they think it's a, it's a not so nice one. At least the way I understand it. But I don't know. It depends. Depends on who, who says it actually knows what it means. All right. Let's drop a bow tie in here. So they have all these little window visors, which are very close to what they have. I mean, stupid similar. They even got the same wrap around the, the A-pillar and everything. So a lot of these are just trimmed on the inside with different colors. Um, so this is, I don't think this is a flat bottom. So I'm, I'm going to say Scorpion Olive from Romania. What's up, man? Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to reach out to the guy that did this and ask if it is. Uh, yeah, Ardeth, well, if you name me a truck that I can take the door handles off, um, then I'll be more than glad to take them off for you. I'll paint them so that way you don't, they're really kind of, you don't really see them. Me and I will we'll get like 199.9% of this build spot on. He's like, oh, your door handles are there. Suicide doors. You couldn't find a truck mod with suicide doors? No, sorry. So I think the flat bottom's probably not. Let's do the little window visor. I think it's still a little bit small. That's the only thing, man. Uh, the Roland 389 Discord there, Crixus, because it only goes for all the cabs on this truck, which now are not all SES cabs. They've got our own cabs now. All right, let's back up here. Let's do – let's go ahead and throw these line adapters on. Let's get that uh, – let's get that in a few here. Um, let's throw – now, I think these are the – these are the big old boys. I mean, these are going to be the mama jamas up here. It'll be the huge ones. And they are chrome as well. Chrome and orange. So we're going to light them up across the top here. Yes, Jay's it does. It works well, man, because you can actually hear everybody else's Jake break. You can hear their engine. And I think that you may want to test this out if you have the 3176, that that engine is controlled via the traffic sounds inside of uh, Convoy. So if you want to hear more of that, I think you need to turn the traffic sound up, and then it will work like it's supposed to. So I don't think there's no horns on this truck. I got to imagine the horns are probably down on the underneath it or tucked in there somewhere. Uh, there's nothing back here. We don't need anything back here. No turbo wings, no radiant bars. Um, we're pretty much, let's run down to the bottom of this. So we're we're pretty much ready to 
start uh, putting some accessorize on here and let's get now no stainless everything down here is paint I don't even think they have a hood class down here but we're gonna add one why not yeah look at there what we'll why we'll the neon green one all right so these have the custom battery boxes down here but I don't know and I think they're all painted including this so the only chrome they have is that so let's go ahead I'll add uh, I'll add some of these now I don't have the DSD transport logo right here. There was one, I think. Let's see. I know I have mine in here. Yeah, so this this right here, this truck part. So this am so this right here, this am can is not the, the DSD like that's not the same group, although the skin, the guy that did this was from Sweden, I think. So I, he wouldn't have known. So it's fine. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really mainstream. Let's see if we've got some up here in the rolling that matches the at least white and black there we go let's just throw that it's not a rolling transport but we'll just throw it on there just for space filler i hope they won't get mad i mean I hate this part. I hate doing all painted. Painted is not, I don't like all painted. Thank you there, Deal Rapper. What's up, man? Thank you, bud. Appreciate y'all. Thanks there for those super chats, man. Y'all were, uh, were awesome. Uh, be nice if I could uh, single-handedly kind of paint the sides and whatnot, but it's it's fine. Whatever. Let's throw fun underglows uh, there. We're not going to add the chrome there. Let's do the step plates. Uh, long end weights. So these are animated as well. So if y'all do have this and those are animated, and then we're going to throw the wide... Painted cab and sleeper panels. That's pretty much what they have. Uh, we're gonna. I'm actually going to put this as chrome just to break up because I can't stand paint. I have to have some chrome on it, you know. I mean, I know it didn't get you home, but um, I don't know why they're leak trig. Y'all wouldn't know if y'all weren't on the leak sites looking for stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So we're looking for the tallest... <laughs> we're looking for the tallest, most polished set of pipes we can get. So here's straight chrome, and that's pretty tall. And this has got the if to bracket down there, so I'll show you that. Okay, with these, oh, these are straight short. All right, so we're doing, uh, well, his are not on the Steam Workshop. Yeah, and he did some free ones, Trig, so they're not leaked if they're his, man. He did a N14 and a 34. Does anybody remember? What's up, Deal? Thanks there, man. Appreciate the two again. Um, I can't remember which ones it was. Uh, what we got here? Let's do let's do Wisconsin since they're from Wisconsin. And they are literally this is almost the same tank they have. Like it's almost identical. It's kind of scary. I don't think they have a death tank on this one. I doubt they do. <laughs> It'd be funny if they did. Like everybody's. I'm gonna switch. Mm. They've got the thinner ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 3460, that's it. Yep, he did that one for free, man. So there's, there's no leak. It's no leaky. All right, so blue underglow here. And then we also can add more blue underglow. I'm going to do, I think actually there's is a painted chrome there. Um, no steps, I don't believe. They do have an antenna in the back. I did see that one in here. So we throw the antenna on there. Uh, yeah, Trucker, it won't take long to that. Well, don't download leak stuff, Trig. I know you're young, but still. It sets you up for failure. Who leaked the DD60? Someone leaked that, really? Adriano Silva Films, what's up, man? Thanks there for first gear, the first first gear member, man. Appreciate that, bud. Thank you, man. As always, thanks for all those members and stuff out there. You guys are awesome. So, um, I don't think any handles. I, I, you know what? I'm gonna add the hand. No, I'm not, because that looks dumb. Let's just add the sleeper lights. Let's add the white ones, because that just looks more custom. We'll add that, and let's keep on rolling down the line here. We're going to cabboard and stickers. We'll put some of those on there. Let's roll that here. Painted or chrome? Mm. 
All right, with that say, y'all like this, and if it don't be bragging, if it ain't dragging. <laughs> oh, that's classy there. Oh, that's what I thought, Predator. What's up, man? How are you, pal? Good to see you, man. I think, uh, love it when creators come in here. It's like, oh, crap. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> How are you, buddy? It's been a while, man. We're actually going to do the recess lines back here, too. So, this will be, be sweet. So, actually, we've got pretty much everything. Now, we don't have exactly the same. They have these, like, weird circular oval mirrors up under here. Um, we don't have that on this truck, but what we are going to do, we're just going to kind of get creative here, and we'll do like a full axle paint uh, with the turns. We'll throw some turn signals in here. That'll, that'll at least kind of cover that piece up just like they have. Be close enough, right? Be that little green, little bit of green there. Um, and then suspension. I actually think I'm going to leave it on the low. Yeah, I like this one better. Eating pizza and washing. <laughs> I hear you, man. Well, it's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. I don't know if y'all knew it or not. Actually, I'll ask you. You mind, you mind me telling people who you are? You cool with that? May not. You may not want it. It's fine. Yeah, Trucker. Yeah, we're going to do it. We will. All right. So we've got uh, we got the big single cut fenders. Um, all right. So these. Yeah, so we'll have the little chrome pieces on there. Um, so I'll leave those there. Um, I think we're back. I think what we'll do, I think we'll go to the back here and let's go ahead and lay out. I think we can go out and lay out these. Uh, are these, so, oh yeah, we're going to lose super singles. You know what? I would keep them in there, man, just to make y'all mad. <laughs> I'll put them in there just to make y'all mad. <laughs> Like, oh, no, he got all the way to the end and he blew it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think they – I can't remember. Somebody look it up and tell me how many lights they have on the back. We're going to put a full row, but I don't think they had a full row. I'm a, Yeah, I'm not, dude. Come on, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to put that on there. <laughs> I'm not going to put that on there. I, I ought to leave them on there just because it will make you all mad. But I'm not like that. <laughs> Super singles are trash. <laughs> Good Lord. What does this world come to? All right, so we're going to invisibilize there for the airbags. Oh, no. No, no. I hit the wrong thing. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> God, I knew it when I clicked it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed right now. Oh my god. Man, I bet some he hauls are he hauls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is not a seven hour. We will move we will make it through this. I will make it. I deserve Whoever gave the 20 in the epic felt, oh, there it is right there, man. Oh, those dang 24 and a half inch tires. Good gravy, man. Oh, my gosh, man. I have a love-hate relationship with those tires because as soon as you pick those suckers, if you do anything after you pick them, gone. Trash. We'll see you. Peace out, FTG. We got to take a break. Five minutes after these messages. All right, I, I I don't even know what to do now. All right, y'all just y'all just hang on, hang tight. I'm going to fly through this because now we know what I'm doing. Oh shoot, not that one. How about we do the wheels first? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I feel like a big old fat loser after that one. That was rookie mistakes were made, and Joel's going, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, no, he did it. I just got to make sure that wheel's gone. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. Thank you there. Is that Daryl Whitaker? Thank you, man. I had to make sure that tire was gone, dude. Oh, gosh, I can't believe I did that. All right. Um, so these boys have uh, pretty big 
tires and wheels on these things. Um, so here's the thing. I actually think I'm actually supposed to put the 24 and a half inches on there. Johnny Cash, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> He's like, here is a, here's a, here's a chat back, man. Make you feel a little bit better. It's all right. It happens to the best of us. <sighs> oh, man, I can't believe that. Dad gum it. All right. So we're we're okay. All right. See, this is where my mind was, but I was on the invisible set. So when I tried to click out of it, it was done. It was done. And they have a spike cover on this. And I don't do we we do have a spike cap. All right, sweet. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh no predator. I don't think so. Uh, this one's out of your Discord, so you wanna know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Um I don't think he did the he did like the dash pieces and stuff. If that's what you're asking. Thank you there, Joe Rapp. Appreciate it, man. Thanks again, Johnny. Good to see you, buddy. All right, so let's do let's roll down here to the five. Let's roll down here. Let's grab these five, these five, and then five more yellers. We'll be all right. Thanks, there, Logan. I know, I know, but still, though, man, you you, you never want to have to do that in a stream. It's, and it happens way too often with me sometimes. I get ahead of myself, and I start getting click happy. And there's so many accessories now on these trucks, and so many packs are compatible with stuff. It's just not all the time is it always going to work out. So it is what it is, right? All right, so we're going to add that. Let's go back in to – nope, not painted bow tie. The little win. There we go. I don't know, though. That. Oh, that's way too big. All right. Let's roll back down here. Um, let's see. What's it? Okay. It's got yellow. Yeah, we, we, can, we can live with yellow. That works. The backs on the lights is 12. Thanks, El, El Trolero. What's up there, Alex Ramirez? How are you, man? Uh, not paint. Here we go. Chrome. Chrome. See, we're almost back where we were. What, five minutes? And he's like, well, you could have done this at first and saved me a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. How? Oh. <sighs> well, yeah, I, I, you know, yes, I would love stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not going to come ask you for that, man. <laughs> you know me, man. I'm not going to do that. I'd be like, if it's there, it's there. Great. If it's not, you know, I, like I don't, I don't get bent out of shape about the small stuff, because really, I mean, literally, we got ninety five percent of this truck is in one piece, and it's in this truck by default. Like that's still pretty cool. I don't care who you are. We can even add the. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You can even add the IFTA sticker, and then put it in Wisconsin, just like they are. <laughs> Kid me? Come on, come on now. We'll pack the twenty four twenty four point five is what those are. Uh, and then uh, there are some of these nuts and some of these things that kind of come with the truck as it is. Um, so I've just got the Alcoa 10 holes on there. And, uh, yeah, so let's roll down. He did put these in there, but oddly enough, um, these – wait a minute. Nope. There we go. The The thing down here is not the same. But it's all right. I don't know, Kim, if we could do if I mean, this is pretty much what they got. I mean, it's bagged in the front so we can slam it on the ground, but the rest of it, I do need to put the bumper on there. Thanks for Dewey reminding me that. They got a deal wrapper? Appreciate it, man. Um, is this right? Yeah, yeah, this is right. So we'll put the Wisconsin tag over it. There we go. Let's get that watermelon light back on the front. Racha. Make sure we get the white one. There we go. Oh, yeah. We got engine. You're right, man. Let's see, those are all be things that we have to go back into the store because I forgot. All right. Painted that. Painted hinges. Nothing up top except we were going to do rivets, right? 
I th- I think they have a I think they have a rail up there, but I'm not exactly sure. I think they do. <laughs> I wouldn't take it. I'd never take advantage. I probably don't say enough. I feel like the truck needs an antenna, but I'm not going to sweat it. So let's keep on rolling. We got the stacks on. We got the stickers on there. Let's get the smaller tank. Let's get the larger uh, paint cap and sleeper panels. There's that. We're also going to add blue lights under the cab sleeper, which these are really, really nice. Actually, let's do blue edge lighting. And they're like all these little blue lights that light up underneath the cab and stuff. It's pretty slick. I like those. And let's do the smaller. There we go. Let's do the smaller tank. I don't think they have chrome caps. Someone want to check and see if they have chrome caps. Can y'all do it? See if they have chrome caps. I don't think they do, but they very well may. Oh, headlights. Dude, thanks. And grill. I was going to leave up out of here and be like, peace out, muchachos. We'll see you later. All right, seven bar reinforced. I do know that. And then headlights. Man, good, 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 uh, good for you on that, man. I totally forgot that. Y'all did not want to do the single squares. We'll do the xenons because that's the only way to go with this truck. Um, all right, the wheels are gone. <laughs> Don't touch them, FTG. Leave them alone. What do you mean the paint job's different from the picture? What do you mean? Hang on, I I even get the let me let me get the. What do you mean that's different? I mean it's uh it's probably the way the lighting is. The blues, maybe not the it completely. It's got a little grayish in it, but it's close enough, man. Man, y'all are picky. Yeah, I don't have the DSD. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the DSD down here. Uh, I think whoever did this one, um, he did like a different emblem for something else that came up on Google, but it wasn't the, it wasn't the right thing. But it's fine. I actually thought about making one of those. I just hadn't got around to doing it yet. I was like, I wanted to do this tonight. So let's add all our rear underglow. Uh, yeah, it just needs to be like a, like a, a lighter, not a brighter blue, but just like a little bit more white mixed into it, kind of give it that milky flavor, and you'll have it. But that's not that's not a big thing. Um, sleeper matter, we're going to do paint on this one. I think it's paint or it's factory. Um, yeah, see, that's the thing. Uh, actually, their stripes are pinstriped outlines. And now ask me how I know because I worked on this skin forever until I actually figured out that somebody else had already done it. But their stripes have a pinstripes around the stripes. They do. All right, so let's do cab warning. That milky flavor. <laughs> well, it's childish as the people around here acting tonight. I was going to wonder if they had some for supper. <sighs> Dude, that was kind of bad, wasn't it? It came out, sounded a lot less bad in my head than it came out. Yeah. Anyway, moving right along. I don't know if they have chrome gutters. We can add them. I don't think they actually have them, but it's fine. We do have that. Yes, we do have that all set in. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's I, I figured, Mark. It's fine, man. I was just kidding around. Mike, I get so serious. All right. We got recess lines in there. Same suspension. We're good there. Let's add single cut. Yeah, got the chrome in the back. Let's add this right here. All right. I do like the slider one. I don't know why I do. I just I like I like the I like this slider. All right, someone said twelve, right? <sighs> so that would be well, well, we'll be a little, we'll be short one. Because how many is the paint? Of, where's the paint? Paint. So how many's on here? Uh, four, eight, thirteen. Really? And if we split that up and do a paint paint on this one, we have three, three. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to be one shorty way, no matter how we look at it. Um, <laughs> 13? Okay. All right. Okay, 13. All right, so they got a full light on the bottom. All right. Cool. Cliff, up. <laughs> oh, y'all are funny, man. Uh, another cabinet light, it's, uh, Kim, that's all part of this truck. 
Yeah, I don't, I'm not. This truck is really not going to feature anything that you get off other trucks. It's kind of its own animal. Yeah, you don't really. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to confirm this so that I can go back out to this sign and so that I can actually save it because that's important to me right now and it should be very important to you guys. So we're just going to save it or we'll go back out and uh and let's uh yeah, let's let's drive. <laughs> well, let's build, sorry. Cuz the last thing I want to do is uh get in here and pick these wheels and something happen. And ask me how I know. Hey, Mike, I was thinking. I was tracking with you, bro. <laughs> I was tracking right with you, man. It's so normally if I'm doing this by myself, I, I no problems, man. Not a single problem. I never have issues like that. Only today. And then it sucks because if you you got to pick the tire first. Um, Bridgestone shiny, and then you can pick the, the Alcoa 10 hole. It doesn't show up if you don't pick the right tire, which stinks. And there's like a little a little nervous bug that's swimming around. I'm like, I love this hub, man. It's such a beefy hub. Um, I actually don't know if they – do they – yeah, I was about to say, I don't know that they actually have those. Do they cover them? <laughs> the 24-and-a-half-inch, Mike, Mikey. <laughs> I'm actually just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave the hub. I'm gonna let the hub cover, man. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let that hub cover. All right. Let's find those uh, Bridgestone shinies. There they is. And let's go ahead and let's add Alcoa tin hole in there. There we go. And I'm gonna leave that hub, man. I like that hub. That's nice. Um. And let's look at these and see if I've got the same. I can't remember if I have the same hub for these or not. I don't think I do. Yeah, I didn't think so. Nope. Nope. Not where are they? Uh, all right. Got that in there. Cool. Let's add our steps on here. And then we got to add that little, we'll add that little roll in it. Ah, I hate adding a rolling thing in there. I don't even like that because it's not even one to add. Can you take the super singles? Yeah, man, we don't have super singles on here anymore. You must be behind in the stream. You might want to refresh and join the, the live live. Yeah. Uh, actually, we are at 18 speed. Uh, we probably need to put the other one on there. Where's the Where's the other one? Eight, the three. Nope, nope, nope. That was it. Yeah, we're good there. And I've got the C18 on there, so we should be we should be good. Actually, we've got all this on there. We're not going to use the wide cab. We don't need them. I think we're good. Let's uh Let's move off to the inside now. I don't have everything on the custom side on the interior for this one. Um, so we'll have to get a little creative. Um, cause we do have blue, but I don't think it's the same blue. Uh, it's lowered Quan. It's bagged. So they have a blue interior. Um, and this is a little bit of a lighter blue. Can we roll with the blue? Is it, is it Okay. It's fine with me. I actually don't mind the black. I think black is just, I don't know, it's just classy in this truck. Um, so we've got we've got the orange and purple, which is the shifter, but we don't need that. We can't really go red. We can go black. White is okay. It's a little on the... So there's the blue. We can change the steering wheel to kind of neutralize it up some. The blue is okay. Blue's all right. Try the green. The green's not close. Like here's our here's our like yellow green. And the yellow is like really like yeah, see what I mean? And it's the door frame screws it up for me. <laughs> if we didn't have the door frame, we could pretty much do what we wanted to. But like a, we need like a mixture between the yellow and a mixture between that and a mixture between the green. And then we'd have it perfect. But that's the one thing I you can't you can't plan for that. 
<laughs> you can't do it. Um, all right, so y'all say blue, so we're going to go with blue. It is a really, really nice uh, interior. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. We can go ahead and if I can access that, then we can at least put the green up there to kind of join us. You know what I mean? Like kind of break up all the blue. We can throw that up there. That'll work. All right, so let's throw the um, – I'll sit. How about this? I'll sit low enough in the seat you won't see the hood, and then you won't be bothered by it. <laughs> that, all right? Is that, that good with y'all? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, don't tell me that because then I'll have to go back and do it. I'll have to go back and do it now because I actually really, really like this one. He's like, just one texture, bro, and you could have had it all. Eh, well, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I got to give somebody something to troll me in the morning with. Hey, FTG, it would have been better if you could have done the right blue. Still a good build, though. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it. I have no idea. I'm sure they have a chrome uh, on their headliner. He did give me the other one, see, but this one's not. Nope, not that one. That's mine. Yeah, that one. See, they're, they're not, that's, not, that's not the Amcan truck parts. That's not what this truck's associated with. So I, I feel like weird putting it up there. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just going to leave it out for right now. All right, we got blue interior lights. I'm not going to add any chops because they don't have them. Um, so let's go. Let's add some stuff on the interiors here. Uh, the CBs published all come in this truck. So everything you guys are seeing, every bit of it comes in this truck. Um, yeah, it all comes in there. So there's, there's nothing else. I actually think I had. Oh, no, I didn't do this pack yet. Working on me an accessory pack, too. Um, no sun strip. We'll leave that off. Oh, I like the scan gauge here. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. Um, and then let's add. I think if I remember correctly, they had one up here in the top right, uh, top left. Let's take that out. Interior lamps are blue. Got these are out here. Nothing on them. Perfect. So I'm just going to add these Peterbilt. Uh, badges on the interior keep us from doing anything crazy they have i can't remember they have some custom floor in there we're just going to put a nice wood trim in there and put us some black peterbilt floor mats keep our wood trim from getting messed up uh, we'll put our dog in there we'll go put old jeremy in there we'll put him in there um hey There we go. Why not, man? We just match it all. <laughs> Try it, man. Everybody will go sleeping in that. You ought to see their interior. Their interior is absolutely it's it's incredible. It is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna do a custom wheel just because I like these wheels. Um I was trying to I'm just trying to find a way to kind of like, you know neutralize bring the blacks together and not have so much like you know going on because the blue is pretty bold you know it's pretty bold and that's okay if that's your thing let's throw this up here too we're gonna throw our people net go throw that up there uh funny thing is if you don't like the dog you can have a parrot what's the other thing you have a parrot which is animated up here <laughs> you can have a dude you can have a sketchy lady at the truck stop or you can have the German Shepherd. German Shepherd is my favorite, man, because that's that is really good. It's really good. All right. All right, so you tell me, guys, whether or not um, – y'all tell me whether or not you like the black wheel or whether or not we just need to go on and put a colored wheel on it. We could pick – can we pick the one? So this is the blue that's on the truck. And it's not too far. It's just a different shade. But I'm okay if we don't do the blue. Black. Justin wants passenger. <laughs> well, then you can't ride, Justin, if we put pizza in there. Where will you sit? <laughs> Y'all like the black wheel? Okay. This is actually, by far, for whatever reason, this is my favorite one. I don't know why. No, no, you can't add the twins in this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's black all the way. Okay, Y'all do like that. Forever sharp black. 
All right, let's find the one that's got the emblem on top. There it is, Forever Shop. Sweet. It is shop. All right, so we got the emblems. That, C18. We got this. That was done. Wait a minute. We change this. Yes, Alpine. All right, sweet. We're going to confirm. Unless anybody's got anything else to add. Make sure I got all those. Those are all hoods. We got the bright bed in the back that we'll never catch an ounce of sleep in. Let's go down to the trailer. Now, I actually customized this trailer skin because you cannot get this trailer skin. Oops, we got to do... Painted cables under. Let me make sure we got the right wheels on. If you put 24s back here, you done. All right. That's the only reason I hate those. All right, so that's chassis painted under. All right. Hang on a minute. Let's figure out which ones these are. All right, so that's the one underneath. So lime green goes all the way underneath. Of course, this is more of a... I'll need to tone this down a little bit. It's a little too green. And then I think this one is the roof, which will have that same blue. High maintenance is what this truck's called, if you didn't know. Does have painted landing chassis on this thing. Um, and actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, these have the extruded bubble lights. <laughs> well, we're good now. We're good now. I even did the, uh, I even, I, I'm proud of myself for this one because you don't see all this on the, on the, I just got lucky. <laughs> I actually put all of these blue uh, under things on here to, to break up the green or the, the yellowish green. Uh, so we could do the cover on that. Yes. Single cut fenders are blue, and the real trailer, they're green. So I actually figured out where that was. That wasn't easy, Joe. We might need to do something on the back on this one. Let's do painted axle covers. Um, I think theirs are actually red. I don't think they're clear. We got red lights up there, so we might as well keep them clear back here. All right? Do that. Trend setting should be Wisconsin. Yes. We should be able to do painted back here. Yes, and is the right color. High maintenance. Uh, don't they have Mac trailers? What do you? This is what you're looking at. This is a Mac trailer. Yep, this is a Mac trailer. So we got the underglows. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, we need to do bubble lights. Ooh, painted side bubble lights. Theirs are actually chrome. Can we do chrome? We can do chrome. Freaking sweet, man. All right, let's do chrome. Here we go. Chrome side bubble flats. And we got blue under that as well. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Man. I think it might be, man. Ha! <laughs> Trig. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, he left without a word, man. We don't know where he went. He just left. Didn't say nothing to nobody, man. It's funny you bring him up, though. Weapon XA. Thank you, buddy. All right. Let's, uh, so I think everything's done. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Um, let's go in the truck real quick. I don't think we added any blue lights in our, um, yeah, we didn't. All right. Blue air filter lights in the custom. All right. Let's see what we got. You're you're such a such a doll to boom. Thanks, man. I think we're on thirteen. No, we are on eighteen. Okay. All right. I must have changed it way back and just totally forgot. And let me go ahead and let me save. Just in case, because you just never know. All right, we're gonna see. Let's see how close we can get here. That's really you really can't tell. That's that's pretty doggone close. Let's get all the trucky stuff off there. I mean, doggone it. You really can't complain with that. 
Uh, let's see. Let's do. Um, what's up? Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to do that. Blue lights on the interior. Roll the windows down. Look at that sexy driver right there. He's got an FTG shirt on. <laughs> the lights aren't flashing. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's funny. That's funny. I don't care who you are. They even got the uh, Xenons up front. Got our turn signals. Let's see what these back lines look like. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Somebody wants me to air it out. We're going to need you to drop that FTG. Drop it like it's hot, brother. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So there you go. That's as slammed as we're going to get her. Which is uh, pretty close. I mean, they actually, I don't know what size that. Their wheel almost looks like a 26. The problem is, I tell you what, Joel, if you're still here, I will tell you one of the one of the baddest things I think you could do, and I'm just going to go and tell you in front of everybody. One of the baddest things you could do is do the 26-inch pack from the big alcohol wheels and put some sizable, like put tires on that thing like that to belong on it, not a rubber band. Dude, if you do that, Mm. My goodness, man. Woo. Be nice. Be very nice. Look at that. It's all painted out, chassis and shocks and everything in there. And let's see. Let's go ahead and let's let's get myself back off. Let's get back off of this a little bit here. Let's see. So I usually run about an 80. And then we'll put ourselves somewhere up in here, like so. Tell me. Oh man. Track IR shut down. Guess we're waiting too long. Why why never just do white body on trailer? Because that's not what's in the picture. It's blue and green. I'm I'm not exactly I'm not I don't think I'm exactly catching what you're saying. Yeah, so it's the, I can send them to you. It's the, um, so it's the big Alcoa pack. Jess, Jess Mods did those like at 136, and then he updated them for 139 and said, y'all can have them. I'm not going to touch them again. Um, so they've been sitting out there like in the mod site land for like ages. That was a custom Jake that I think Z did back in the day. I uh, did those uh, especially for the for the Roland 3D9. So, and we actually tell you what, let's actually make it darker. Now that we're out here, it'll look a little different. So let's go to. Oh, uh, whoops, not that one. What? 
What is it? God, now I can't see anything. There you go, so much she looks like at night. Pretty awesome right there. You've got the trailer light back there. Stupid nice. Did I, did I miss that? Dude, Papa, I totally missed your 10, dude. What in the world? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I feel terrible now, man. I'm sorry I missed your, uh, I missed Papa Rox's super chat, man. I just look up there, and thanks there for the sub, man. Appreciate it there, Yana. I totally missed that, man. My, my bad, Papa. I hope you're still around, man. I apologize for that. I'll get roasted in the comments for forgetting your super chat. But just let it be known I didn't forget it. I was a little late. 20, 20 minutes late to be exact, but that's okay. Okay, woo, you're still here. All right, my bad, dude. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to daytime. Oh, still like it, even with the lights on, it still looks good. All right, there's so many jokes I could pull right there. I'm just gonna let that one. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it sit there. I mean, doggone it, we got pretty doggone close, didn't we? I think they've, uh, if you guys ever look at this, uh, if y'all ever look at this, this truck. No, so it's only probably like a, it's probably only like a, I don't know, Joel, what would you say the drops on this thing is? Probably like a two inch drop. Like it's not a complete slam. And probably you could get a little bit better effect if you had a tire that had a, was a little bit thicker. Like their tire is pretty thick on this one, but their wheels are obviously bigger than ours. Like they've got to be 26 inch wheels. And we pretty much have up to 24 and a half and then 22s out of the Smarty Pack. And so the only thing left that's even remotely close would be the Jess Mods wheels, which I think, they're not 30s, but I think they're like 26s or 8s. And so that's definitely what they're running with, but they've got it with a much, much larger tire. It's not like a like a piece of, uh, you know, it's not a piece of, uh, whatchamacallit, like a rubber band around it. My, there's my here's my ode to the Jacob Jamaican truckers in here. Over car to jump. Oh god. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, going this way. Don't oh we, oh we missed the sign. I thought we were thought we had it. Thought we had it folks. We still somehow managed to keep her in the uh, keep her on keep her on the what do we do the greasy side. <laughs> yeah, whoa! <laughs> that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, we only sunk about 350 grand in this thing, and it'd be all right. <sighs> yeah, the guys in the Discord were watching me, uh, watching me all the through the trailer, and I was like, oh my god, guys, I misspelled maintenance. It was just maintenance. I was like, well, depending on where in the country you're from, that's how you say it. Maintenance. Let me, uh, so let me do this.
Let's uh, yeah, let's forget that cam. There we go. It'll buff out. That's right, man. It'll buff out. <laughs> it's just cord, man. It's fine. Well, I, I so I guess Lynn, uh, the twenty-four and a half with with the rubber. It's not our twenty-four and a half. How about that? Like it's looking at the pictures. Like there's no way this wheel is a twenty-four and a half. Like the scaling of the wheel has got to be off. Like this has got to be. I guess not even close. It it, it it makes the wheel feel like it's too small for the truck. I mean, do y'all agree or am I just like totally looking at that the wrong way? 36? 36 inch wheels? Or, or like all the tire? Like everything. There's old, uh, old Fluffy over there. He's over there just chilling. Every time that Jake breaks goes, his ears switch. See? Well, I don't think the low profile is going to make it look even smaller. I, I think that's my fear. I think that's my fear. It'll just look small at that point. the 30 inch <laughs> I don't yeah I, it's got to be I mean even 36 seems like I'm thinking like overall diameter but even 36 seems like seems big they've got a pretty fat tire in that screenshot up there you know what I mean like it's a pretty fat tire trucking Colby brother I've got a lot of time putting in the shifting gears man Die, Alex. Where's yeah? Straight floated, Jamaican style. We actually got a lot of Jamaican guys in here to watch. So, big shout out to all our Jamaicans out there. Oh, it is right. I forgot. I can do this now. I don't have a. Uh... Forget about that. Couldn't remember if the clutch worked. It does not work. I'm thinking now we should have put chrome on it. We should have put chrome on the wheel. Brakes work. Throttle works. All the switches move. Drop her back down. Beacons down there. You can see them flashing on and off. Engine brake. You see it's got a switch too. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> what turf? <laughs> Coach Boy, what's up, man? Yeah, so what we're going to do, um, since we, you know, I, I didn't plan on giving this one away, and I don't really have anything featured on the stream tonight that we can give away, uh, just because we're, you know, uh, I'm in a Patreon map, which doesn't work like regular stuff. So this week, I've got some things planned. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a few things. I've got some videos coming up, uh, too, that we'll have. Uh, that'll be. Um, We'll have uh, some things on there from ATS and also ETS, which it's okay if, if ETS is not your thing. We're definitely going to be in some really cool places uh, with some pretty awesome mods as well, at least on that side of the thing, which is really nice. If you never really checked out ETS too and you're kind of getting tired of ATS and want something just to freshen it up, uh, check it out. It will be good. Uh, I will tell you that. Uh, but I've got a few other uh, streams planned this week with some other uh, things that are giving some updates. Um, and so we'll be back in some old familiar rides uh, with some new stuff, hopefully some trailers and whatnot we haven't done in a while. So I've got plenty of stuff to give away. So what I'm going to do is um, I think Glenn's was there. I think he's the one that had that, I think. Um, 
Oh, 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 of course it's a game limitation. <laughs> of course it's a game limitation. Are you kidding? Yeah, of course it is. Let's see if we can get us a photo. We can get a photo. It is a lot of road work. I always have those things turned up. Let's see. Oops, let's go the other way. Let's get the sun on my side. Actually, not even facing in the right direction for the sun. That's okay. I won't be salty about it. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Going pretty close. Truck brains all the way from uh, Jamaica. What's up, man? Uh, trailer mod Zach. It comes with truck. Yeah, it comes with the truck. The shifter is the in-game limitation as well. You can't you can't shift that either. It doesn't work. Yeah, boy, when she gets about five high, she says, see ya. Cattle truck? Um, possibly. We could possibly do that. Miss that one. Yeah, we could maybe do a cattle haul. I don't know. Uh, I have to look and see. Cattle, we got a, I mean, really, so we got a plethora of trucks we could do cattle haul. I tell you what, Alex, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out my latest uh, video if you just want to, you know, if you just want to, like, check something out. Hey, was that little, uh, was that little, was that little uh, Roscoe on the side of the road? It certainly looked like our little doggy there on the side of the road. But I did a, a somewhat of a, you know, kind of all, I mean, for the most part, you know, they're pretty much a low roof or a flat top, and they're pretty much got pretty much got horns on them. I mean, that's it. They got the bull horns on them. Big old 45s, the big old pitch on the on the pipe. So, I mean, I, I don't know. That's pretty close to a cattle hall build. They're really not too uh, complicated. The grand scheme of everything, so. So, North Coaster basically uh, is floating 1 through 18. Typically, I would... Uh, you know, typically if I'm going to float, I would just float. If I didn't need the gears, I would just float and skip one. So I'd go from one low to two low to three low. So I essentially have an eight speed. Jamaican shifting, or at least the culture of Jamaican shifting is different. You're really talking about a, a culture of shifting and the, like the style you do it. They're like all, you know, they're free flowing and, you know, they'll do this, put all their arms, this, do this. I mean, it's kind of like a, you know, it's kind of a culture in trucking shifting. I mean, it's, it's weird to us because that's not something that we see a lot down here. But they typically will go from one low to one high to two low to two high. And they'll essentially go through the whole entire gearbox, and they'll do it with the Jake Wreck on. 
So every time they get into that gear, as soon as they hit her, you hear this, and then they're right into the next, every single one. So that's kind of what people are referring to with that. So engine comes in the truck, Josh. Engine comes in the truck. Coming back down to civilization here on the 90. We are in Great America. And have y'all, has anybody noticed we haven't even picked up a trailer yet? We're just like driving. Just driving. What's up, Lucky? How are you, man? Trucks in Jamaica, thanks, man. Appreciate it, bud. It's good to have a lot of new faces, a lot of new names in here. Um, I certainly, you know, if you guys want me to do some more of these builds um, off of these, you know, there's a we're getting really high quality mods here. Dom's 379 was a great addition into this, um, and just into the just the the really kind of I don't want to say boutique because it's not boutique. I mean, into just the the setting of the mods that are um, you know on the higher end that just have good quality to them. Um, and so even even with the Rollins here, it's obviously got quality. Joel's working on some slick updates for that truck as well. So we'll have a lot of new dashes and some of the interiors get some really, really slick uh, upgrades as well. So uh, make sure you, uh, well, I don't know, you can't do that on his Facebook because he keeps it private. But anyway, regardless, um, if you guys ever got questions on some of this stuff and want to see what, uh, you know, if you ever want to see what we're, uh, you know, what we're doing or what you can do with it, shoot me a message on Discord. You know, we'll plan to do streams with these trucks a lot because you can do a lot with these. You can do heavy hauls with these, not just necessarily show trucks, which is always cool. Uh, but yeah, we're just wasting fuel. To hey, we just blew 300 grand, Island Crawler. We're totally cool, bro. <laughs> we're totally fine, man. <laughs> totally fine. Yeah, Papa, dude, Great America is legit, man. It's legit. If it was a one time pay map, like. I wish he would do something like a one-time like fee, or I say a pay, you know, one-time fee map. Patreons are always weird. Thank you there, James, Director of Gaming. Appreciate it, man. Patreons are always weird with maps and trucks and trailers and stuff just because the development never kind of, it never, it keeps going. Uh, but unfortunately with maps, at least it seems to be right now with SES that every time we version change, you have to change maps, or at least they have to be updated in some way, fashion, or form. Mainly since they figured out how to update things along the way with these little hot fix updates that they keep pulling out when they do big things. The next update for um, for uh, ETS and ATS is going to be large. Uh, it is going to be. Uh, whoops, sorry there, sorry. I get a little over there. Uh, but uh, but I mean the next updates are going to be pretty big when they start moving up into DX12. I'm not sure if that's going to happen on the 143 or 4 range. I would essentially feel like it would be 4 since they already pushed the BTS to 1.43. Um, so I figure they'll want to go both trucks. I mean, both uh, trucking games will go in together with that. Um, and they'll do it just like they did with DX11. So I know one of the last live streams, that was something that they said was coming up. So be prepped for it. All of our mods are going to break. All of the maps are going to break. Everything's going to break. Hopefully not. But it probably will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, dude, listen, man. And, you know, some people are like, you know, uh, well, I don't know why we pay anything for mods. And I did. So we did the. Um, so check this out, guys. Now, this is actually just like this is just general conversation stuff right here. Let me let me roll these windows up just for a little bit. I feel like I'm hollering. Maybe I'm not. All right. Oh, that's not oh, that's so much better on my ears. All right. So check this out. So we did some we did some uh, <laughs> we did some figuring up. And so we did. We had a we met with quite a few questions yesterday in the live stream about um, about whether or not the. Um, uh, sorry, hang on a minute. We were making. We were looking to see whether or not um, it would be feasible for truck guys to go to Patreon because someone had mentioned well they they could just do a Patreon system and it'd be a lot better. So I said okay, well let's look at the Patreon system and let's look it out. So even at a very modest seven dollars uh maybe seven seven ninety nine a month we figured at some point that any truck that you wanted to drive if they were back in the patreon system if you supported for around a year and let's say for some of these trucks they've been around longer than a year um let's say you still let's at least go into the 16th to 18 month depending on what the patreon was for and what you actually paid for you'd well pay over 200 dollars 
by doing monthly subscriptions to trucks. So all I say is that if they offer you a flat rate fee <laughs> and we're we're going to be I mean, you know, we're going to be like halfway through this summer fall. Oh, Joel, what what's what's your 2-year mark on this truck? Cuz you're pretty much already in a year almost on this and I think. Thank you there, James. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for the tip, man, and also uh, overdrive, bud. Thank you, man. Because I, I would say that, uh, so Joel, uh, uh, Sir Predator, Predator uh, Operator, that's the creator of this truck. That's Joel there. Um, but, um, so most of you guys, uh, some of you guys know who he is. And Sartania's in here as well. What's up, Sartania? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Just did the uh, free trailer we did last night. This is a good combo. You can pull that trailer with this truck. That's so good. Uh, but, What's so? What's your time frame? What What have you been on time time wise? Like your two year mark? It's got to be getting somewhat fairly close. June. Okay, so June. That's crazy, man. God, that's crazy. So two years. So you think about supporting at a, at, a, at, a, at a modest like, you know, seven bucks a month. You're going to like almost two hundred dollars in Patreon fi fees. So. What I'm getting at is for some of these guys that charge anywhere from 30 to, to 45 to 80 or 70, I think Blue Line Modding's at 70, whether it's 100, whether it's 80, 90, whatever. Like, DCS mods are $75 plus every single time. Anything that you buy in flight sims, $75 plus if you're going to buy a legitimate study level airplane that's going to be modeled out. It's going to be whatever. They got interior models. They've got all the other stuff going on with it. So all of these mods that we enjoy and they get continued development for no price of updates. Just think about if you had to pay a Patreon per month to get updates, then it'd really suck. Cause then you'd have $200 wrapped in this in June if you bought it when it first came out. And that's Mr. Strings. The only thing I'm fear, that's the only thing I'm worried about if people start my, 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 I feel like my job, I don't think it's my job. I, I feel like my, my, my calls, you know, everyone has their calls on Facebook or they have their calls on this, they have their calls on, you know, YouTube. I mean, everyone's got their thing that they want. I would love to see the community kind of get back together. Um, and I feel like some of those things only are going to sever it and split it off even more because people won't start complaining about stuff. And I mean, to a certain extent, you never can stop that kind of thing. But I would love for people to realize like what they have before they screw up what they're going to get, if that makes sense. I've seen too much of that in here because I've actually seen this community go from a very pretty close, tight-knit community to be completely severed on four different platforms. And so, you know, it's what it, I don't know. It's just what my call is. I'd love to see more guys get back in it um, and and support just support in moderate um, portions to to modders. I'm not saying hey, we got to give them a bunch of money. I and mean, they already sell their mods. They sell their access. They sell all the other things that they do. It's fine. I'm not saying hey, you got to go, you know, give them ten dollars or give them fifteen. They're already making money. I just mean being more tactful about what you say and being a little bit more. Not necessarily nice, but being more supportive of the guys that are still doing it for free, um, and being an overall community champion. You know, that's 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 basically that's basically what I get at. Because at some point, the guys that are selling the mods for thirty, for twenty, or whatever, people are berating them over. Guess what? The prices are going to go up. You're not going to get updates like you were before. You know. So, because um, without those guys, whether they sell them or not, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, probably half of us would be playing this game. I know I wouldn't. Because I wouldn't be able to create content with the default SES stuff. I'm just kidding. It's probably why they don't call me and say, hey, why don't we do a community drive with FTG? He's only been streaming our game, you know, oh, I don't know, for two and a half years. That'd make a lot of sense. <laughs> nah, he does pay word mods. We can't support that. Whatever. Yeah, North. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You're nail, nail on the head, bro. Nail on the head. Nail on the head. Uh, I think he was saying, uh, v, I think he was saying Vipers is free uh, to Shinga. I think that's what he was getting at. Yeah, I think that's what he was getting at. I actually don't mind this J break. It's, it's kind of nasty, doesn't it? Oh yeah, well you know what? Fair enough, fair enough, Mark. Then they must just not like me. 
<laughs> I must be too too raw. <laughs> I might fly off the handle and say something during live stream. <laughs> well, oh, and he never flies it. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I I wish I could do more flight sim. I wish y'all'd watch flight sim. But y'all are here for trucking, so I can't get mad at y'all for that. Yeah, truck. I'm, yeah, man. Truck brains. I'm, I'm kind with you, man. I, I actually don't mind it at all. Yeah, we always roll something else, and I always tell Joe every time we do it, like, yeah, we're gonna roll Z mods. This, we'll roll this, we'll roll that. Actually, we haven't been to Pierre yet, or House. Let's go to House. We haven't been there yet. I think our, uh, I think I think we're going this way. Yeah, and Psycho, oh my gosh, what was it? Uh, when Texas Custom said they were going to charge for updates, people went livid. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, they got everybody on water. I think it got me kicked out of their uh, their their Google group, man, for, for all that, man, because, oh my gosh, people just lost their ever flippant mind on that. I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize that people so serious about it. Show sure enough. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, well, I know when I I know when I uh, when I when I wrote to SES to figure out what the heck was going on with their their tiered system of uh, stuff, they said we're just going to give some other YouTubers a chance. Okay, all right. Well, don't screw off the ones that you know basically have put you up here for two and a half years to the community. You know, I had said it really now. I probably that's probably why they don't like me. They didn't, probably didn't write a very nice email back to them. I didn't care. I was like, whatever. Y'all are here. It's all I need. It's all I need. We get it done together. <laughs> what? Don't worry about Mad Ed Truck. Don't worry, because when Alaskan Truck Simulator comes out and you all berate it for not having Peterbilt to Kenworth, y'all all love coming back to SCS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been like, oh my god, I'm so glad to be back in this. I can't shoot another rabbit, make another campfire. <laughs> well, it's, that's the thing, Finn. I don't care. And they're not. It is uh, four in the morning for them. Unless they're partying, watching a live stream about the game they, they live and breathe every day. I don't care, man. Yeah, I don't care. They, listen, nobody, that, uh, nobody that's on their streams criticizes them for anything. I do all the time, so it's fine. I give you guys more of an honest perspective. It's, that's the way I look at it. It's fine. Nah. They actually didn't throw me under the bus, Juicy. They actually just left me at the bus stop. <laughs> oh, they actually just said, who's that? FTG, y'all. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, get myself in trouble. Not really. There, there's nothing else left to get in trouble over, right? See, y'all hear the FTG after dark, man. This is where the streams really get fun. This is where y'all get the. This is where y'all get the real skinny. <laughs> it's eight for you. <laughs> hey, don't tip me with that North Coaster. I do like some bus sim. I'm not gonna lie. I like some buses. Y'all get mad at me. I can't believe FTG's playing bus sim for SES. <laughs> You're not. That's what I mean, Zell. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. It's hilarious. It is what it is. And nothing more. I say that way too much. I've enjoyed these uh, straight roads, man. It's been easy to drive in third person. Maybe to boop. <laughs> Maybe. I noticed that my streams didn't get featured on the block either. <laughs> oh. I was like, wow, we featured videos that nobody talked in. I was like, yeah, this is pretty good, but it looks just like Colorado. And we waited 10 months for it. They probably didn't like it. You're probably right, man. You're probably right. Well, 
Well, thanks there. That that's that's uh, those are those are big shoes to fill, man. I just, listen. I just keep it real and I have fun. You know, like it or not, it doesn't matter. I don't care because this is not my full time job. I would love for it to be, but I'm not willing to sell out to do it full time. How about that? That's that's just principle. If you want me to tell everybody that your crap smells great in the toilet, I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it and have a straight face and walk out of a stream after somebody's donated money or they've bought something that I've sent them to. And that's why I don't show you crappy mods. And I get mods sent to me all the time. Say, hey, man, I want to sell this. Can you help me out? Nope. Sorry. Because I've got other high-quality stuff that people have bought. And if I just start showing them everything and telling them it's all good, I can't do it. So... There you go. There's there's some there's some FTG philosophy for you. And I missed that sub. Who was that? Who was that? Maria Little. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. It is okay. <laughs> uh, DN modding. What's the DN modding? What's uh? So you can add it, Jace. You can add it. Yeah, I, I'm assuming DN -mod, D modding is a uh, is a modder. Um, if it is, you could add it yourself. Oh no, you can't on the interior pack. No, you can't. That's not an open dev pack. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what you could do. If it's a W9 or if it's whatever, um, you could certainly write Z mods or in his Discord, join his Discord and ask him if he could. You know, what you'll need to do, the easiest way to do this, I'm telling, okay, the 990 truck, Okay, so if you want to do that, what you need to do is you need to uh, send him a message and have the truck name already ready for him and say, hey, I wanted to know if you could add some support for your W9 interior pack for this truck from DN Modding. It's a W990, and here's the actual truck name for it. If you can get all of that for him and give it to him, then I don't see why he couldn't add support for it because he gives you no way to add support for those for very good reason. Because uh, if you did, someone would just buy the Peterbilt pack and then they would just add compatibility with everything. You wouldn't buy three or four packs to, if you were just going to get one, you know what I mean? So at least if that way, um, he could add support to it. I don't see why he wouldn't. I mean, it would be a smart move for him if everybody that has DN Modding's, you know, 990 is going to buy his pack now because it works. You know what I mean? So try that. Try that. Reach out to him. Just be like I said, be nice. Have the information ready for him and ask him if he would mind doing that. And here was the truck name for it. And it would be greatly appreciated. And, yeah, tell him all that stuff. Oh, I missed that one. Missed that one big time. That's right. Raphael, what's up, man? And we're actually in, uh, where are we at? We are, uh, I don't even know where we're at. We're all in South Dakota. So we are fixing to make a left here in, uh, on South 85. I feel weird that my uh, track hour is not working. I need to reset it. So we've literally been zigzagging back and forth in, um, in South Dakota. So we headed down here at the 90, down in Nebraska joins back up with Wyoming. So we're on the Great America right now. So we've literally been riding the open plains of uh, South Dakota. Is that Colosso USA? Colosso, is that right? I did, but for whatever reason, when I went through the, the game deal, it like lost its game connectivity. So and it's, I only got one light up there. So that tells me it's not synced up with the game. It probably happened in that crash. I probably needed to restart. <laughs> I ignore the hell. This is like South Dakota. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. 63 big, big dude. You missed it, dude. We gave away three Rollins tonight. You weren't even here to get any of them, man. Are you serious? I cannot believe you didn't show up tonight. Three Rollins. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Don't slam nothing. Don't break nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Hi, right, Mikey. Have a good buddy. He was probably doing something like out to eat with his wife or something, and he just started cussing. Oh, my 
God, FTG gave three Rollins away and I was out eating dinner with you. <laughs> uh, she's like, and it'll be the last time you eat dinner. He's like, uh oh. That, that's no muy bueno. <laughs> yeah, Muffin Man. Sorry, man. I'm just in cruise mode, bro. I'm just in cruise mode. Here, here was our. Uh, there you go. There was our. There was our attempt. Pretty nice, if you ask me. We got pretty doggone close, man. Pretty doggone close. When I started seeing all of this stuff come together, I was like, "Oh my gosh, we could do this. This would be awesome for a stream. This would be great." So I'm, I'm gonna try to find some more custom trucks to build. The problem with custom trucks is finding the skins or either making the skins. I've gotten into the skinning game. Yes, sir, Jays, we are on the C18. Yep, and it comes in the truck, so. It's, so it's basically a modified N14. So it sounds just like the N14 except the Jake brake for this truck. Uh, Z did something good for for, uh, for Joel when he put this one together. So I think he did a custom Jake brake for it that you won't find anywhere else. Because uh, the N14 Jake brake sounds totally different than that. Uh, so Truckee was giving away... Um, Truckee was giving away or is giving away a uh, subscription they got some codes for the new smooth track which is an ios device that you can use on your phone ios or android and you're supposed to be able to mount it up and it util utilizes the camera in the ios system to be able to essentially give you track ir for like ten dollars and for what i've heard it's actually pretty good so i was uh so they, yeah so we're just kind of pushing that along there and uh let you guys know that that was available i don't know if they've already if they've already uh, drawn for it or not yet but you would see if you clicked on the giveaway they'll tell you whether or not it's still open uh oh well that stake was in the the ground oh what did the, what did i hit oh i must hit a collision on the uh side of the road yeah, smooth track. That's what I thought. All right, so let's see. As we're smooth tracking it down here, let's do this. And we still got to go a little bit. Pretty nice. I don't know if their truck has that or not, but ours does. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah, Jay, yeah. Yeah, the 379, I mean, even free, man, was a great truck, dude. It was a great truck. Yeah, it was a great truck, man. And he's new one, man. It's, it's good, too, man. I mean, it's really cool because, and I'm sure that Joel at some point appreciates the fact that he doesn't have to make his original 389 doesn't have to go back and make it a full 379 because really they're two separate trucks even though we ha we've had a few mods that have kind of bled the two together you know um, it's still not exactly the still not exactly the same thing and they, they really kind of share some similarities but you know all, all your main parts you don't have to go in and try to like make those if you're not trying to make a 379 unless you want to just like kind of throw some parts or put an old dash or something with it but you don't necessarily necessarily have to, you know, start up a new truck, which is which is kind of good. So at least in that way, you can kind of do at that point what you want. And people say, well, I want you to do a 379. You say, well, there's another one for sale. It's not mine. <laughs> so in a way, it's kind of good to have uh, a few difference of everything. Although I have it blue, it's not it's not legal. You are right. I forgot. You can't do blue neons or blue lights. Only an ATS. And the police have not stopped me yet, so we're still good. Can't remember. Okay, these are these are come on with the park lights, yeah.
Things to plays, what's up? Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Um, I haven't done it yet. This week was so busy, man. We had uh, we had a lot of mods kind of drop out, and I had to try to get as much as I could. I was trying to work on some other things. Uh, this was one of the things I was trying to work on this week, just to kind of try to wrap in like how I could, you know, how we could pull all of these things together, how we could build it up, and you know, whether or not we could. Uh, I started working on my own skin for it uh, to be a color change, so. I still got to finish it. Luckily, Frag Doctor uh, was uh, had this one done, and so it was pretty awesome to have that. But yeah, it's uh, it's one of them things. So ATS nowadays, man, takes time, especially if you're doing any kind of mod for it. Uh, I have heard of there, Peyton. We're actually going to have that on this week. So let me tell you, let me tell you guys what we got on the uh, the schedule for this week. Um, we've got some more giveaways because we've got some money left over. So we're going to do. Um, Probably a Ruta combo this week. Uh, we might do that, or might even do Barts. We haven't done Barts in a while, uh, and I might want to try to see if I can't go back and do one uh, of trailers uh, for his brother, um, SWC Mining. So I might try to get those guys in, in this week. Uh, so he's got a horse trailer that's actually pretty cool. A lot of customizations. So I thought I might give one of those away this week because um, I do have some get some leftover stuff, and I'm also. Uh, waiting on my samples for the new merch stuff to come in. So I've got FTG merch. I've got the the new trucking shirts that I showed uh, in stream a couple weeks ago. Uh, all of those now are actually placed and actually on. Um, they're actually on the uh, on the shirts now. So I'm waiting on a few samples to get here to see what the quality is and whether or not there's going to be like you know super good or super bad. Uh, we'll find out. It's a pretty in depth design, so we'll see how good the printers are. Uh, but we've also got some more of that stuff coming in. And also, Zmods, we got some giveaways for his uh, because Husky came in last night and uh, hooked you guys up uh, for some giveaways. So we're going to be giving out some uh, ISX, uh, ISX, ISX engine sound packs. Try to say that fast twice. I couldn't even say it once. But we'll give away some ISX engine packs here at the beginning of this week. And I've got a, an oldie goldie mod that one of my buddies has been helping me kind of like kind of bring it back up. Uh, it is an international, uh, but it was an older mod probably back from like the three sixes that we just like, and for whatever reason, man, it was just, um, we, it, it was good. It's the Harley Davidson and it was like lowered and it had, you know, it had a stretched out frame. And I was like, you know what? I don't even like a Lone Star, but this one is actually not bad. I know what you're thinking, like, oh my god, new Lone Star looks good there, FTG. But this one actually did. It actually did. It, will, it, it was drivable. And every time I drove it, it was so funny, because every time I drove this truck back in live stream, people were like, hey, where'd you get that truck? You got a link? And I was like, I thought y'all didn't like these, you know. So anyway, I was kind of had a little fun with everybody. So, ah, well, it'll give you six more horses there, Grease Paul. <laughs> Grease Paul T. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good one there. It'll give you six more horses. I don't know if you'll be able to fill it. You'll probably need 60 more horses to pull it, but yeah. But yeah. Is trailers really in the with Tyson uh, tonight? Thought trucks would be the thing? Um, it depends, Mr. Straits. Here's the, here's the reality. Um, a lot of people don't necessarily have uh, a lot of money for the trucks are obviously the more expensive things. Uh, there's a lot more going on with them than necessarily the trailers, but... Some people will like, like, and I've kind of said this with this mod and some others. A lot of times, what happens is people will uh, they'll they'll take these these they'll take these uh, these trucks and they'll buy one. And this might be the only truck that they buy. I can tell you that I've spent way more than a hundred dollars on Hayward mods just in trucks. And but if I only wanted to drive a 389, and that's really the only truck I wanted to buy, this would have been it. And so then at that point, if I got the truck, then I've got a I've got a tarp trailer with it, and then I've got a plethora of other trailers that I can pull with it, and then I've got what I want. So, I mean, trailers are very desirable uh, desirable for because we really don't have any free options. I mean, you've got the SES stuff, and you've got a few things that uh, Keith is doing over at ATS Mod Updates. He's actually doing a really good service for the guys that don't want to pay anything for trailers. And there are a couple of really good step decks and flatbeds over there in his Facebook group. Problem is, they don't have any. They don't have anything in them. They're just old standalone trailers that he's kind of like brought back to life and is offering for the community to basically come. And if you want them, 
Come download them for free. And uh, so those are about the. And we feature quite a few of those trailers here on the channel. Um, but it's 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 just a it's a it's a preference market, you know. It's just like you know, if someone came out with a payware wheel and tire mod. Guess what? There'd be a slew of people wanting to buy it. Some because they're mod hunters and collectors, and some because it might be the exact mod and tire that they absolutely want, and so therefore they'll buy. It. So you know, I mean, it's like anything, you know, it, it, anything. There's always a market for it. May not be a huge market, but there's always a market. Yeah, that horse. Yeah, the horse trailer was legit, man. Just take us with us there, uh, trucking. <laughs> Just take us with us, man. It's fine. I've had a few people take me to the bathroom, and some have used the bathroom while we've been on the stream. Those are always those were the fun ones. Those were those were fun ones, man. What's up, Joe? No, oh, man. I like this, man. This is good. I, I didn't, we didn't even have nowhere to go, man. I just we literally just sitting here and just chit chatted the entire time. Y'all realize that? I ain't got nowhere to be. I ain't got nothing to do. Let's go ahead and good old vegetation. Oh no! 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 <sighs> okay. Ah! Ah! Sorry, sorry, Joe. <laughs> My bad. Oh, yes, the open mic bathroom. I know. I was like, no, he's not doing that. He thought he muted his mic, poor guy. He thought he muted it. All right, man, Predator. Have a good one, man. Thanks for joining, man. Thanks for uh, your continued work on a uh, great truck, man. Appreciate it. Everyone say adios to uh, to Mr. Predator Operator. He is the uh, the original Joel. The OG of the Roland. Yeah, nobody saw that. It was dark. It was dark. Uh. <laughs> oh, have you never seen how fast this truck would actually go? I don't ever do stuff like this. Yeah, we probably don't need this six, so let's pull that tire up off the axe. We don't need that any more extra. Watch out now. Triple digits. One out of other fashion we go. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe it. He's doing this. He never does this stuff. It's like we're going to clock out at 107. We are going down a hill. Let's see if we can apex that right. I wonder what happens when we just smoke a car right like this. It's pretty bad. Funny how the steering wheel in the in the uh <laughs> I don't know where we gotta go, but it's gotta be fast. It's all I know. <laughs> uh you don't need the setup for it, CJ. Yeah, don't worry about the setup, man. I actually have some of this setup called a racing. I 
I actually don't have some of this because of uh, yeah, because of trucking. to boom <laughs> we're gonna stop before we get there buddy <laughs> we'll have none of that for tonight's live stream <laughs> uh what type of truck cj is the rolling 389 so it's good man it's really good and we did pretty good man this was our uh that was our that was our try tonight which we did ex excel in that and you know what i just because i want to see i didn't do this earlier but because you guys are Right, we got our last hangers here. That's our, our troopers for the string. It's funny when we build trucks like this. It's like uh, uh, the passenger comes with the truck. Yeah, Joel put that little bad boy in there for us. Let's um, all right. So actually, I don't think I'll crash right here, but I may. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it didn't crash. Okay. Whew. So that right there is what I think they have. The only difference is they have a lot more tire than we got tire. Y'all see what I mean? Look how big that tire is. I mean, granted, it's tucked right up under there. But that's got to be what we had, man. That's this. See, that's what I thought, C Pain. That's what I thought, man. The problem is, we just don't have nearly as much tires they got up in there. They've got quite a bit of tire. It's just tucked up in there perfect. Yeah, I need to send these to Joel, man. Joel, Joel could do something special with these. Now, Saturday, I could be responsible for continued development in the ATS community. Yeah. Yeah, that was it, what it man. I now I'm mad at myself for not putting them on. Yeah, I'm mad at myself. Whatever. I think the backs are actually probably closer to what they have. They have like these like weird bubble tires. Y'all see what I mean? Like it's just different. To me it's fine, but these are way like way too much, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact they don't have that bubble on the outside. I still like his uh, those hubcaps right there. I still like those. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy how you can literally... Almost perspective-wise, you can get really back up close. Yeah, the blue's a little blue, but... Yeah, so what, I, what I'm going to do whenever we get the uh, whenever we get the truck from Dom, too, I'm going to do this skin for Dom's, too. I mean, we can't do uh, as much with his. You can still do pretty much the same stuff. Uh, his interior will be a little different, but obviously theirs, it doesn't matter because their interior is crazy different anyway so yeah <laughs> uh, I was just trying to make it really close could almost get the same yeah that that was what we needed man we needed that wheel in there I, I should have put them in there dadgum it man um yeah because with these you don't actually it doesn't lower as much um and see, their wheel is actually, it's got to be an offset. Or they've just got custom fenders on there. Because, like, the fenders on this one come out way, like, we've still got about a two-inch gap between the, the tire wall and the fender. That was just, like, sitting right up on it. But a 379 fender is not the same as an 89. So it's a lot more rounded and a lot more flat on the top. And 389's actually got a lot of contour to it. And I'm sure there's probably custom, too. They probably got some custom stuff on theirs, but 
Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, you know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, so you just run it. I mean, you can't run it on a um, uh, you can't run it on a normal laptop. Obviously, CJ, you'll have to probably spiff up the system just because ATS is pretty demanding, especially when you get with these uh, with these nice mods and stuff. But you know, um, Burnout King. I I don't know. Some people have had no problems. Um, I know uh, Jay's gaming was running it, didn't have a problem with it. Um, they said that there's something wrong with the, S the engine file, but I'm not sh exactly sure. And I'm not exactly sure if it's going to get fixed or I have no idea. Cause there's like, there's like people that have no problem with it. And there's have, there's some people that's like, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. it. It doesn't work for me. And others are like, yeah, well, I'm not having a problem with it. So I don't know, man, <laughs> I really don't. I have the real truck, so I, I haven't really messed with the beta. There's no point in me messing with it. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, I'm sure it is the Shingo. Yeah, I'm sure it shows stance. I was just really mainly talking about how the offset of the wheel tire is really stuck out in that fender. Like, they're almost, the edge of the fender and the tire almost meet together perfectly. That's what I was, that's more or less what I was going to. But, yeah, that was definitely the wheel I needed on this thing. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't the greatest, you know. It's fine. Mm. See? <laughs> now, here's what I will say. If you want to put that in, um, make sure if he's got a load order, if he's got a couple mods with that, make sure that you have them right. Um, second thing is make sure it's not just a blank one that you've taken mods out, but make sure um, make sure that it's uh, like uh, if you're going to start a new profile, start a whole new and don't just empty mods out and throw it in there. There's still a lot of times a lot of leftover stuff in the middle of those um, profiles and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peyton Manning, good to see you, man. Tell Eli we said hey. All right. That's going to be it for me, man. Good stream as always, man. Thank you guys very much. Do not forget, we will be giving some stuff away because I want to catch up with Glenn. Gave 50 for a giveaway. So I want to make sure that we get that in. I didn't have anything in particular for this stream to give away. So it's just random. Um, so let me give something away once we've actually got uh, something in map that we can do, whether it's truck, trailers, um, or whether or not we are give something away on the map. I'm actually going to talk to Voith and see if we can get something going on with Great America. I would love for you guys to be able to experience some Great America, but I do understand the Patreon stuff can be a little bit convoluted sometimes. People don't like to do it. I get it, um, especially as it's another subscription that you have to, uh, that you have to maintain. So uh, I get all of that stuff, um, and it's no, it really is no problem. So, um, but, uh, but anyway, thanks to, uh, thanks to him, man. Scott as well. Cobra Gaming Creations, thank you guys. Uh, thank you there to um, uh, James Rector for uh, upping up there on, uh, whatchamacallit, on our uh, membership, joining back in. And thank you there to Adriana Silva. Uh, becoming a member back again. So thank you there, John. Appreciate it, man. Johnny Cash there for $10 there. Deal wrapper with 75 and a uh, two-buck super chat, man. Proper Rocks with a 10. Uh, James with a dollar there tip. And Jamal closing us out there with a $10 super chat, man. So thank you very much, guys, as always. So don't forget, we're going to have some giveaways this week. We're going to have some more. We'll do a truck combo from Ruta. Obviously, when you see me roll something Ruta, it's probably a good chance that it's probably going to be it. And I wanted to do another one with KI, so we might give a 352 away this week because we're due on another one of those. Um, and we might even try to, you know, do something funky, man, something funky and fresh. Eric, Allison, thank you very much. And don't forget, the ISX is coming up. When you see the Lone Star, don't freak out. Be like, oh, my God, I'm not going to the live stream. Seriously, you might like it. It's actually completely custom. <laughs> There's not, like, anything on that truck that haven't been screwed around with. So it's actually kind of cool. It is not going to be your standard everyday Lone Star. So uh, I'm also working on some accessories for FTG and United Logistics and all kinds of cool stuff. If you're interested in having, if you drive for United Logistics or if you're driving for our VTC, um, I actually jump in the Discord because I've got all of our FTG paints for the trailer packs. I've got stuff for John Ruda's stuff. Um, I've got all of the custom things. I've even got a skin for Dom's 379 freeware. So if you've got Dom's 379, make sure you jump in the Discord. Grab the paint. It's at the very top of the list on free uh, FTG paints. And you'll see Dom's 379. That is pre-update. He has not finished out the paint template to be able to do the new paints on there. So when he does that, I will be able to do that. Um, just want to let you guys know that it's there and go grab them if you want them. 
Uh, they are there, and they are free. So I've got stuff for all the standards, even the fleet stuff. Um, and then we've got all of the, the classic the trailers and some of the payware trailers as well. So go in there and see if there's anything you want. Go grab it. Um, I don't have one for Jess Mods to boom. You just had to ask that one, right? <laughs> That's the, the only one I don't have. <laughs> and I need to bring that truck back out. I haven't done that in a while. And also for you ETS guys that might like ETS that want to have all these cool trucks and all this cool stuff, I've got some freaking awesome paint jobs coming. Uh, United Logistics there on the ETS side. So stay tuned on those, especially if you're in the Discord. They're coming. Um, they're going to be awesome. So when can I give away a gaming laptop? <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, I could, I guess. Uh, somebody will have to uh, fork up that one because that's a, that's a little bit of a – it would be great if Digital Storm would provide one of those. How cool would that be? How cool would that be? Hey, we're just going to – I will say this. Uh, well, no, I won't say that. I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to wait on that. More, more on that later on. So, all right. Cool. Y'all have a great one. I will see you back here. Um, we'll probably be back Monday or Tuesday night. Um, I usually try to take tomorrow or Monday to hang out with fam. Uh, and then just catch up on some video stuff. I have a few more things I want to record so I can release those this week. Um, and we're going to keep these ATS and ETS, these smaller videos coming up. So if you see this stuff come up, come up, join it, and um, and actually watch along. And hopefully they'll be, uh, hopefully you'll like them. Hopefully they're enjoyable. They're definitely not me talking as much. I talk way too much about this. Um, I'm going to say to do that in Christmas, Daboom. Um, by the way, for those who are still here, we are going to give away one of these boxes. Uh, which actually you don't see in your screen because I hid that one. Uh, we're going to give away one of these button boxes you saw this week. Uh, I'm not, sorry, not this coming week. Um, here before Christmas. I want to kind of make that a Christmas gift from the channel. We've also got another big gift planned, but I'm going to have more details on that here soon once we work all the details out ourselves. Uh, but I think somebody out there is going to really, really like what we're doing. So um, it'll be good. So anyway, thank you guys very much. Thanks for all our donators. Thanks for the new subs. Thanks for new members. You guys are awesome, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, like I said, we've been dropping this. I'll put the link back in the description once it uh, once it uh, goes back here on YouTube. Uh, but the Joe Collins is who you want to look up Facebook for this truck. Um, it is an amazing truck and got a lot of updates here planned for this thing. So something that if this is your truck, this might be the one. Uh, don't remember, don't be bragging. If you ain't dragging, we'll see you later, guys. Peace out. <laughs>